When the waiting was finally over five long years and the competitors of the Arctic Winter Games were all together again, there was magic. Moments etched into history spellbinding scenes. From the very beginning, this was going to be different. The torch arriving on a dog sled, the party was just getting started. And then for a week, the participants wowed. Bone-chilling cold didn't stop the athletes braving the elements in traditional sports all in the pursuit of a new loop. Inside, the drums beat loudly as a competition rolled on. Upwards of 1,800 participants putting their bodies on the line, showing the world strength, agility, and grit. Collapsing at times with exhaustion, the wounds of competition, a souvenir of these games, and a symbol of respect to those who came before them. For as fiercely as they competed, these games were so much more than sport, reminding us all the power of community, joy, celebration, and teamwork. There was a call to action too, reconciliation through sport, raising awareness of murdered and missing indigenous women. Since 1970 in the Circumpolar North, they've gathered for the games every two years and through it all, they've captivated. No different this time around. When it finally came time to put out the cauldron, ending another edition of the Arctic Winter Games, lives undoubtedly changed. In Wood Buffalo, Treaty 8 territory, the ancestral land of the Cree, Dene, and Métis people. An Arctic Winter Games, definitely worth the wait.